Ek en Samir het dier al die uitstekende inskrywings van die afgelopen seizoen gekyk en ons het besluit om vanavond kracht te saam te snoer om vir julle die afgelopen 9 maanden sy veldfokus hoogtepunte en wen inskrywings te bring. Ja, Baptist, it's good to finally share the studio with you. You know, usually while I'm in here, you're off gallivanting in Chad or the Seychelles or somewhere exciting like that. Yeah, I know. After this, we must definitely arrange a joint field trip. Maybe in talks can do felt focus then. Sure. I can't believe how fast this season has flown by. I can still remember my favorite entry from November. Do you remember which one that was? Yeah, I do recall that one. Wasn't that the one with the otters fishing for barbel in Kruger? Yeah, that's the one. It was the entry sent in by Mandy Mitchell taken from the Lower Sabi Bridge. I can't believe what a good sighting this was. I especially love the one where the otter has its line stolen by that massive crocodile. Shame, that otter looks so bleak here. Eh? Yes, that was awesome. Maar wat van December se winner? As ek reg onthou, was dit die een van die jong leiper wat sy maaltijd eerder wou aanneem as om het op te eet. Oh yeah, the confused leopard. The whole 50-50 crew had a great laugh over that one. And I still wonder what the outcome of that little friendship was. At this point, I want to take some time to mention John Hartman and his tireless dedication. We received so many incredible entries from him, and he put so much effort into every single one of them. His January entry of the yellow-fronted Tinkerbird's Nest was filmed over a period of a number of weeks and was a really worthy winner for that month. Talking about dedication. Alistair Swartney het sy wenfoto's te voet by Manapoole geneem. Dit was van die wille honde wat die trop die hyenas weggejaag het. I still have a chuckle every time I see this picture. It looks like the hyena is trying to get its rear end to completely disappear. Oh yeah, that one was an absolute classic. But do you recall March's winning entry? The one sent in by Burnett Lowe. Her entry was of that overambitious slender mongoose that does its best to try and eat a scrub hair. The mongoose shows what a voracious predator it is. And the fight that ensues was a lot more entertaining than the Pacquiao Mayweather fight, that's for sure. I especially love this photo where the mongoose grabs the hair by the ears. It seems like mongooses were particularly vicious this season. I think April's winner was also a mongoose entry. Yep, this was Courtney Manovic's video, work from a swart kwas meisond. But this year, he had a cobra to try to Do you think it was the same individual that was just very ambitious? It's not impossible, but he would have to wait for all the names of the name to get to the end of the On to May's winner, and this one was a bit gruesome if I remember correctly. Wasn't it the one of the elephant killing the young buffalo? Yeah, we all have won what was going on there. Hannah Barnes had sent the video in, and it didn't know what the story was of the elephant. Yeah, shame, man. Well, on a lighter note, the winning entry from June is one of my absolute favorites. And this entry sent in by Robert Grissel shows a rare and usually very shy pangolin. The odd looking creature with its small head, shiny scales and formidable front claws. And what about July? That entry just snuck over the line as your final monthly winner. The way that leopard leapt into the air still makes me laugh. And I love the facial expression on that warthog's face. I still don't know who got the biggest shock there. Ja, alles sikke uitstekende inskrywings. Ek het geen idee hoe mense wenner uit die klomp uit kies nie. Maar terwijl ons nou so dier die verlede blaai, hoekom kyk ons ook nie gauw na een paar van die ander inskrywings, wat miskien nou nie gewen het nie, maar wat steeds vir allemaal baie vermaak verskaf het. Soos hierdie foto, wat nou mooi die prioriteitsverskille tussen die mannelike en die vrouwelike geslag uitdoe. <laughs> yeah, that one has to be one of the funniest of all time. And what about this one? A little bit of elephant Pilates for the whole family. It looks like they're having a grand old time. One of my favorites has to be this one, of the grumpy looking owl. What an expression. Maar ek moet sê, as ek nou in a koue voelbad gesit het, so ek nie veel anders gelijk het nie. And what about the one of how the elephant got its trunk? This fits perfectly with the Rudyard Kipling story. And now we can also say we've seen the crocodile flying. And this one, I suspect his mother didn't teach him about covering your mouth when you yawn. Gelukkig vorm was dit nie brommertijd nie. I love how rhinos don't have any front teeth. 